to Our Lady of Fatima, that beautiful shrine that's on the rectory lawn. I have a great affinity to, the, to Our Lady of Fatima. I was ordained on May 13th, which is the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. But my thoughts were not so much, you know, reminiscing about my ordination. My thoughts were thinking about Lisbon, Portugal, today and for the rest of this week, about a million young people are gathered in Lisbon, Portugal for World Youth Day. This great tradition that began with John Paul II of every two or three years gathering the young people of the world for days of prayer and catechesis and celebration. The last World Youth Day, Pope Francis was so taken by the energy of all these young people that he told them, you know, when you go back home, start stirring the pot, wake up the church and make it alive. And he has picked this year the theme, and Mary went with haste, the opening sentence to the uh, chapter in Luke that tells the story of the visitation. He wants the young people to have a sense of urgency that the good news needs to be proclaimed to the world now more than ever. An urgency for the good news to be heard and received. An urgency for the teachings of Jesus to find a stronger root in the hearts of all of us. And this journey of faith begins with our baptisms. And Jesus in the gospel today speaks of this mustard seed this mustard seed in our hearts as we begin our Christian journey. And hopefully in the course of our life, by opening our ears to the word of God, by coming to this table to receive his body and blood, this seed is nurtured and it begins to flourish so that in the course of our earthly pilgrimage, our earthly journey, that small seed has grown into this massive bush of hope and faith and love and mercy. During this World Youth Day, our thoughts each day should be for our young people. We think of our young people here at OLPH, our many wonderful teenagers and young adults who have so much to offer, have so been blessed by the Lord in many ways. We hope that they will feel valued and know that they matter and that they have a great opportunity to help in the building of the kingdom of God to build a stronger, more vital, more energetic church for the future. As the Holy Father gathers with representatives from all around the world, it becomes quite an experience for young people. There are many young priests and nuns who trace their vocation to something they discovered at a World Youth Day. There are many graces that come as people gather to share their experiences. I know young people from North America and Western Europe uh, may have be affected by a sense that the church is in decline, yet when you get a million teenagers together, it's hard to sense that there's much in decline. And we pray for the success of this international gathering for our young people are great signs to us of the church being born again in the hearts of a new generation of believers. Thank you for joining us today. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. Daily and Sunday mass, funerals, weddings, and fireside chats, among other things, can be seen locally, throughout the country, and even the world in real time or at one's convenience. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org, click on the gold donate button, and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.